Merry Christmas! I'm Jamie here at First.com and I'm here with Jake Smith and Bo Sam Pierre, his horn player. And we have some lovely surprises for you. Jake and Bo brought the hottest Christmas gifts this year and we're going to wrap them. We're going to show you how to wrap. So, what did you bring for us today? Well, the first gift that I brought is uh, my buddies over here, M and M. Jake is actually really well known for his gift wrapping ability, so he's going to show us um, how to wrap such a strangely shaped gift right now. Well, yeah. Well, you know, the first thing you want to do is you, you make sure that you have enough wrapping paper. That's my first thing I'm going to do. And I would, you, dynamically with the way the paper would contour, is that a, can we use that, to the shape of, I would actually do more point to point here to do like a, let's spin it around so the audience can okay. see it. And you know, real gift wrapping of this caliber does take some planning and some, some well deserved thought. Thanks, Bo. I would like to tape the edges here to uh, the inner thigh of the M&M, &M, um, just to be safe. Here. I hope you're taking notes at home. Yeah, we hope you're <coughs> taking notes at home. And then I would come like this. The Williams Method. You are such a genius. You thought I I thought it was just music, and, and then I, bam, hit you with something else, you know? You do. And keeping it going. And what, our, what we like to do, Bo and I, is we put the bow inside. Because, oh. I mean, what's the first thing you do? You take the bow off of the wrapper and you throw it away, and then it's done. But if the bow's inside, you unwrap the present, it's almost like, hey, we got two presents here. It's a special surprise on the inside. You're welcome for that tip. We practice safety. Is that in um, chapter seven of your book? It is. It's actually chapter seven. Now, well, would you consider this a finished product? It is finished. Uh, because what happens when you, if, if it's going to someplace far, if it's going to more like a, a grandma's house, um, people never put the air holes in there. And so when you open it up, you get a product that's not what it was like when you sent it Now, off. do the M&M's need air holes to breathe? You have, have you ever seen the M&M commercial where they're not talking? I and haven't, you actually. They're, like, dead? No, they're alive. They're, they're real, uh, real creatures. <laughs> when we're, you know, when we're, when we're not rapping, we're, uh, we're shooting the hoops. 